Children are said to be the future of the nation. Today, we are going to explore a world where you can't even begin to comprehend the disturbing possibilities of reality. How many of you imagine a kid being homeless? Have you ever imagined someone who is trapped in a vicious cycle of pain and misery? Have you ever imagined yourself being a street children? There are 84 million children in the Philippines, and 1.5 million of it are considered as street children. Street children is a term often used to describe both market children who work by selling and begging in the streets and also the homeless street children who work and sleep in the streets. The UNICEF has defined three types of street children. The street living, street working, and children from street families. The street living children are children who run away from their families and live alone on the streets are completely abandoned children. They make up 5 to 10 percent of the street children. Street working children are children who spend most of their time on the streets, fending for themselves, but returning home on a regular basis. They make up 75% of the street children. Children from street families are children who live on the streets with their families. They make up 25% to 30% of the street children in the Philippines. Problems facing street children includes drugs, health problem, conditions, child prostitution, sexual exploitation by pedophiles, summary execution of street children, trafficking, crime, and even police violence. Street children is one problem of the society. That is why government forms organizations to control street children. Here in Iligan City, the organization that cares the needs of the street children is the Dangpanan sa Kabataan. The Dangpanan sa Kabataan Center is a residential facility of the Department of Social Welfare and Development. A home-like atmosphere shall be provided to the children at the home. They shall be involved in all household work and other activities as part of building their self-worth and positive outlook in life. The services and programs they offer are residential care, spiritual enrichment services, educational assistance, medical assistance, and transportation assistance. So related to the SWD, Records. Ah, na sad mo mukha ng mga bata mo ba inyo ipa uli bitaw sila mga parents mo. Kung ano siya kanang mga neglected abandon. Kung na sila ipang educate kita mo ang nearest relatives. Kung sa may ano ang may approach ninyo mga neglected neglected mo sila sa ilang family. So how come may inyo silang ibalik sa ilang family? Ang ilang mga family sa ilang they so, both parents Ah, yeah. Dekan ng Japan three children. Kung so, ano ka nang actually mag-sorgi man ni. Mm -hmm. I give me time to tell me I'm sorry. Pero kasagara na mag-uwi sila ang um, may sa children ng bangke. Iuli sa ila, ang ibang. 
Then nobody got to see. Di ba, ginahat, naghahatag ang huwag mga educational, huwag mga food moms ay lahat. Mag, tagakalusaran, yun yung ginagawa ko. Kuhan, kanang, depende, every time kung ano sila, mas napakanon, so mostly yun sa among din silang mga bunggahan sa paghatag kami na yung mga, para sa inyo mga student, mga outreach, ano, ganyan na yung mga sponsors, kanyang mga NGOs na, handagay ng organization. The ratio of staff to street children does not meet the demand. That is why volunteers are essential for this project. The organization as of now is not a sustainable before since the government gives a very small amount of support. The Dangpanan sa Kabataan locks budget. That is why they were not able to give the best assistance for the street children. They only depend on the volunteers and the sponsors that is given to them. We are now going to take a depth look on what poverty is like and what it's like to be a street children. Bye. 